In today's guide, I'll show you how you can connect and use your Apple TV 4K 1st, 2nd or 3rd generation with your Philips Google TV and set it up for the first time. First of all, we'll grab an HDMI cable and then plug one end of it into our Apple TV box and the other end into one of the HDMI ports at the back of our Philips Smart TV. After that, we can plug in the power cable. Right after connecting our Apple TV to power, it will turn on by itself and on your Philips TV, you'll have to switch to it manually. To do that, you can just open the sources or input list and then select your Apple TV from the list. Now it has switched to Apple TV and we can see the hello screen. Now let's grab our Apple TV remote and start the setup process by selecting our language. Then choose your region and hit continue. Now you'll get two options, either set it up using an iPhone or iPad or set up manually. We are gonna go with the latter. Now choose whether you want to use Siri or not. Then you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi. Now sign in using your Apple account and password. After that, enter the account verification code that will be sent to your iPhone or any other Apple device. Then you'll get an option to toggle on location services and select whether you want to turn on analytics or not. Now we will agree to the terms and conditions and choose whether you want a password. In the next step, you can choose if you want to set up a TV provider. We're gonna just skip this for now and now choose where your Apple TV is located. You can also select a custom room. After that, you can download the aerial screensaver, which will take about 1 GB of data. Now, if your TV supports HDR, then Apple TV will prompt you to enable it. So select Try HDR, and the screen will go black for a second, and then it will come back up with HDR enabled. Now you can hop into Apple TV and enjoy your favorite entertainment. And also note that, you can use your Philips Smart TV remote to control your Apple TV. So there's one less remote to worry about. And that's all there is to it. If you found this useful, you can let us know by dropping a like, subscribe for more useful guides, and I'll see you in the next one.